Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Welcome to Decorating Anne's Place. Today I am going to decorate my dining room tabletop with my coastal decor collection. It's a small collection. I have not been able to add to it since last year because of the lockdowns that we've been in here where I live. We're finally out of lockdown. I went shopping and couldn't find anything sort of that appealed to me. So I'm just going to show it to you on my tabletop here. Last year I did display it upstairs in my family room. So it will look very different this year displayed on my tabletop. And I hope you enjoy how it comes together. I'm so happy to be co-hosting along Susan of the Graceful Lily Market in this coastal tablescape collaboration which was an open invitation i'm looking so forward to what susan has in store for us and everyone who has decided to take part in this collaboration please visit the playlist link in my description box okay so i'm going to start off with this sort of natural beigey golden colored runner I originally was thinking that I wanted something white and bright, but then I realized I'm going to have a bit of gold in it and I'm going to have some natural colored shells. And so I think this actually will be quite nice. Um, we'll see. So I'm just going to place this down first. All along the length of the table. Like so, making sure that it's centered. And then I'm just going to take this turquoise colored placemat and put it right in the center. So you've probably seen these in a past shopping haul video. And I also use this in a Glam Elegant Living Society video that I did. And I'm going to place one on each side of our table. So we have that here and here. And this is the gold that I was talking about. And I think the gold looks very lovely on the beigey sort of shimmery runner. So the next thing I have are these two glass uh, candle holders, probably votive holders. And this really very light turquoisey aqua color. I'm not certain if that comes through. I hope it does. They're really pretty. And so I'm just going to put those in front of these. Like so. And, and I will add more candles. So before I put these in place, I think it would be best to move these candle holders over on each side because I think it makes more sense to have our middle height piece over here. So I'm putting down this crystal candle holder, um, these coasters here purchased at Dollarama. A lot of people um, commented that they're nice DIYs. I did not DIY these. These were actually purchased from Dollarama only $2 each and they're outlined in the the, um, the nice clear gems here and they're really nice. I use them quite often. So I'm just going to place those down, put my aqua colored candle right on top, do the same on the other side. like so. And now I'm going to wrap these candles um, and add, I'm going to wrap them in sort of a light blue raffia or is it a natural colored raffia? I'll have to check. And once I do that, I will add shells to them and that will bring in that bit of a coastal look. So here's our shell and this is the raffia I have found, which is in this really pretty light blue color. So this is about the middle of it, I would say. I'm going to sort of tape it to the back, taking a piece of two-sided tape. I seem to be on a two-sided tape kick lately. And I'm just going to place that down, 
it's a nice strong tape and then I'm going to just wrap it around our candle trying to be careful and and then tying it in the front here and just making it look kind of casual like so and I'll do the same to the other side and here's the second one that I did off camera and as you can see our bow looks just a little nicer because everything I do off camera just seems to be nicer for some reason so some other stop so some other pieces I'm going to be using are these blue glass jars they start out uh, a bit of a darker blue at the bottom and as they go up, they get a bit lighter blue to this turquoisey blue, and they're wrapped in this turquoise colored string at the top. And I think they sort of look coastal, nautical, so I really like these for my coastal displays. And I'm just going to place one here, and then one on the opposite side, like so. I'm also going to add these two little votive holders they're sparkly um, we don't often think of sparkle when we think of nautical unless we're thinking of you know the sparkle of water but the sparkle does go nicely with these coasters that i've placed down on the candle holders so i'm simply going to put these in front of our candle holders like so okay now that i have both ends of my table done the fun part starts. My boats. I love my boats. This is one that was picked up last year at the end of summer and my husband and I went to a beach we had never been to before. I think we had to drive out two hours to it and I saw this in this nautical store. They had this nautical store on the beach that was just Fabulous. I wish I could have bought everything in there. They even had some B items in there. And you guys know I love, love, love my B items for summer. This was the one piece we walked out of the store with and my husband bought it for me. And I just absolutely adore it. And I'm showing it to you backwards. This is how it looks. Um, facing forward. And I still have the price tag on it. It was $24. I'll take that off a little bit later. But I will place that right in the middle here, sort of off. And on the other side of it, this little smaller boat that I bought, there's some shells on the netting and it's got this beautiful, I call it a Tiffany blue or a Tiffany green. I really love this shade of greenish blue. So pretty, very, very, um, coastal in my opinion. So I'm going to put that in front of the boat here and then we're going to add another item. Some other little pieces that I have here are this glass jar here that's filled with blue sand. It's got shells inside it wrapped in some rope with a shell dangling down. Dollarama last year, um, likely four dollars. That's their highest price point. And judging on the weight of this and just to look at it, I'm going to guess it was actually $4. So I'm going to add that to my display here. I have this beautiful large shell I will also place in front here. My gorgeous starfish. It's glass. It's got... Uh, blue and white and a bit of sparkly gold inside. I hope you can see that okay. I'm going to place that here against the shell. Yeah, it does seem to stay. And then I have just this sort of little, I think it's a Febreze candle. It smells divine. Mm, so nice and clean and fresh smelling. It's just the right color for this display. So I'm going to add that over here. Um, 
And what I'm going to do now to finish this off is just put a bit of blue glass beads scattered throughout. I'm going to look at it from the front of it, facing it, so that I see what it looks like. I'll make any adjustments that need to be made. And I will add something to either side of my unit here. And then I'll give you an overview of the whole look in my dining room. So here I've purchased these cute little coastal little hangings from Dollar Tree just this past weekend. Uh, very inexpensive, but really, really cute. So I'm just going to hang them here. My husband, uh, a while back, put these little nails here on top, which makes it great for seasonal decorating. So I'm just going to have that hang there, and then I'll do one on the other side as well. So there's one on one side, and that's the one on the other side there. And then on my table, as mentioned, I did put the glass beads. I have so many more glass beads in this color, but I think it's nice to just have that small amount there. And then I did adjust the center. I wasn't liking the way it looked. So this small boat, I moved over to the other side. I put our glass jar on that side and I had our starfish sort of standing up a little more so you see it better. And then our candle just off to the side here in the front. And this is what my coastal tabletop decor looks like for summer 2021.